What's happening, y'all? Today, I got another Chris Chan merch unboxing. Today, we kind of got a, a pretty some pretty interesting um, stuff compared to the last two, which was Temple of Sonichu Rocks and um, what was the other one? Oh, the, the, the jail art and talismans and stuff. Um, but today, we got... Sonichu medallion and, and you know what's weird I just want to point out so it's like the other return addresses from the Etsy I got this one from his new website which is um official right and the I got the other two from the Etsy um and the return address is different look y'all see that so the old one, the return address on the old one was, uh, um, like, Chris's new P.O. box that he has. Even though it shipped, all these shipped from Big Island. They all shipped from the um, Big Island Post Office, which is literally 815 feet away from Chris's house. So, but it's not just Chris's house. He lives there with, with the dude from Prater. Um... So it could be Chris mailing it out, or it could be that guy. I forgot his name. Um, but the return address on those old ones was the um, P.O. box. The new P.O. box that he made and told fans to, you know, send them stuff there. But this, this, new, this new merch, the return address is the old Temple of Sanitu, where Chris obviously doesn't live anymore. He goes back there, ostensibly goes back there every once in a while to... You know get the the rocks that he sells but he doesn't live there i think it's just barb living there now if i'm correct or maybe barb doesn't even live there anymore i mean she's pretty senile people speculate that she isn't senile and she was just faking it or what but if she is really senile it might be a little tough for her to live on her own so maybe she doesn't even live there anymore who knows i guess you could probably go check when it was last sold, but I don't really feel like doing that. But it's just weird. It's just something I wanted to point out that he put a return address that he obviously does not live at anymore. I don't know if that's to stop doxing or what, but the moment we've all been waiting for has now come. Okay, first, before I even get to opening this up, let me say something. So there's three different official Sanatu medallions for sale. The cheapest one, um, I want to say it's like, I'm just going off of memory, so I don't know if this is correct. I want to say it's like $40. Um, dang, my hair. I need a comb, man. I just moved and I can't find my new, like a lot of my stuff, I can't find my comb. So please excuse my messed up hair but um anyway there's the i think it's like 40 dollars 35 or 40 there's the regular sonic medallion which is um i think it's i think it's uh made it's not made by chris it's, i think it's made by somebody in prater not the guy that he lives with i think one of the females um but uh so there's that and then I think the second one is like 80 or 85, I want to say. Um, and it's it's made by Chris. It's a handmade by Chris and it's signed by Chris on the back. And then the most expensive one, which is what I got right here, is I think it's either 100 or 110. And keep in mind that you get them a little bit, the, the two more expensive ones that are made by Chris, you, you can get them at a slight discount if you buy from the website versus the Etsy. Not much of a discount. I don't think I'm gonna keep buying um, stuff that's on the Etsy from the website just because of the discount. Because I like to leave reviews. I like to leave reviews on the Etsy because he, you know, does those videos um, where he looks at the reviews and stuff, and it'd be pretty cool for him to read my review. So I'm probably gonna buy some more Shadow Two Medallions, um, but this is the first one, and this is the most expensive one. It's like it's like a hundred or one ten ish, um, and. This one is not only handmade and signed by Chris, but it also has the, um, the, what's it called? The Mega Stone, right? So it's probably the closest one, closest looking one to the STD-ridden Sanatu Medallion 
that Chris has been wearing for decades now. So here it is. You just take out. So first thing we got this, like the little necklace part. Um, it's, it looks very cheap and looks like it's about ready to break, but what do you expect? We got the COA. What's the date on it? August 27th, so pretty recent. It's it's uh, wrapped up in the in this like uh, what do you call it? Packaging pretty well. This thing again. And you know, the Tana Chu medallions have gotten kind of a boost of popularity lately due to a few videos online, you know, making up kind of tongue in cheek stuff about their cursed or everyone who wears them ends up crashing out. And it's like, you know, it's obviously satirical, but some of those videos have gotten a lot of views, and that's what really um, has uh, drove up the sales of this stuff this these medallions right okay so it's a little well it's not it's not really wet it smells like I don't know Chris claims it's actually clay um other people claim that it's uh, um, like Crayola model magic or whatever. So I don't know what it actually is, but you can tell the difference between the ones that are made by Chris and the ones that are not made by Chris because the, what's the word? The green parts of the eyes, what would that be called? The, the irises maybe? I don't know if I'm getting, I think that's what they're called. Like my, the blue part of my eyes is called iris, right? I think. And then the black parts, the pupil. Um, if I'm getting that correct, then the irises of these eyes, you can tell because the ones, um, they're mo more oval shaped when they're made by Chris. The ones that are not made by Chris, the other ones that he sells um, are more like uh, circle shaped. They're less like flattened out, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, there's the, um, if I can get it focused, there's the front. Um, and there's the back, it's signed by Chris. Um, can you see that? I'm kind of trying to see if how solid it is. I don't want to like, certain parts of it feel like they might be a little squishy, squishier and softer than the rest. I don't want to, um, you know, accidentally break it or something like that or mess it up somehow. Um, looks nice overall. I just see a little bit of like dirt or whatever up there that I don't really like, like a smudge. Um, you know, if you look closely, you can actually see Chris's fingerprints. I don't know if you can see it with the uh, camera, but I can see it if I look up, look close at it. And he signed it, Jesus Christ Chan Sonichu Prime. Guess he's dropped the Weston out of his name, huh? And the uh, the eyes are like hearts with I don't know something around the hearts. I don't know what that is. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm satisfied with this. I really 
wait a minute, I just noticed. It doesn't have the Mega Stone. I don't know why I was, why it took me so long to notice this. But I bought the one with the Mega Stone. And this does not have a Mega Stone. So I'm actually not satisfied with this purchase. Huh. Yeah, Chris, you gotta step your game up, bro. I just realized, I don't know why I didn't realize that at first. I guess I was so mesmerized. But I did buy this off of his website, which is very new. It just came out a few days ago. Um, and maybe, I don't know, maybe things are getting mixed up. But yeah, this does not have a Mega Stone on the back. And I ordered one with a Mega Stone. So it's kind of upsetting. Maybe I'll ask for a refund or something. But well, anyway, let's let's see how the chain works. Let's see if I can put it on. Let's see if the the necklace part will break or because it does look pretty fragile and cheap. Beside, but besides the uh, you know not having a mega stone, which I you know I paid like thirty dollars extra. You know they're like I want to say they're like. I don't know, I get the prices mixed up because they're discounted on the uh, on the actual website versus the Etsy. I get them mixed up. Um, but the, like I said, the regular handmade ones are like 85-ish, and then these are like 110. I think I got it for like 100 um, on the website. I think it was like $10 off. So what is that like? I want to say, I want to say the... Uh, on the website, the regular handmade ones are like 80, like $5 off what the Etsy price is. So, um, 80, so like $20 extra, bro, for one with the Mega Stone. And I mean, maybe there's a Mega Stone under there, but I'm pretty sure the pictures I saw was like the Mega Stone is poking out this is not, this is, I basically, I mean, I still got the handmade, um, Sonic Jim Medallion, but at the same time, it's still kind of a scam because I paid extra for the medallion, I mean, I'm sorry, the Megastone, but anyway, let's see if this is big enough to put on, I might have to undo it, but I'm going to try and just put it on like this. Is my head too big? Yep, my head's too big. <sighs> you might want to get longer strings, Chris. This is dang near, like, almost not even big enough for me to... Hold on, man, this is tough. I can't even see, like, the loops of the chain, because my beard... Did I get it? I thought I, I almost had it for a second. Crap. I just want to do it up like here. Did I get it? I think I got it. Now it's stuck in, I think it's stuck in my hair. What the hell is going on? Oh my God. I might just have to buy a new chain. Cause this one's really short, but. Now I just gotta get that part to the back.
Okay, now it's on. Obviously, you could see that was pretty difficult. I mean, it might be a little easier. Um, it might be a little bit easier if, you know, I, I'm, as far as heads go, I, I'm on the bigger side. I got a pretty big head. It might be easier if you have a smaller head than me, but I mean, for me, I might want to just invest in a new chain. Um, but there it is. There is the Sonichu medallion. Did I put it on backwards? Hopefully not. No, that's right, I think. Let me see. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There it is. And made by Chris Chan himself. Y'all feeling it? Let me know. But that's it for now. Maybe he made it like that so it's so it's like really hard to take off so people just wear it all the time, but yeah. So I'm going to go reach out to um, the Quick Light store, the official sonichu.com and try to get an exchange for an actual one with a Megastone. But who knows how good Chris's um, customer service, you know, is. Never know. But that's it for now. Hope y'all enjoy this little video, man. Sonichu Medallion, handmade by Chris Chan himself.